Florida, of course, dealing with Hurricane Irma right now. We want to show you some images, though, from Cuba. It's already been slammed by the storm, seeing some extensive flooding there. Of course, the Caribbean has been hard hit, and we want to give an update. We want to start with Cuba, though. A small child wrapped in a blanket carried through a flooded street while the rescue boat is led through deep water. This as the hurricane brought fierce winds and heavy rain to Cuba's northern and western provinces. Local media reporting that Havana was hit by the highest storm surges ever, bringing flooding to neighborhoods that have never been plunged under seawater before. Giant waves reaching a frightening 8 to 11 meters high. Gusts of more than 210 kilometers an hour damaging buildings, knocking down trees. Authorities warning that flooding is expected to persist in parts of Havana through to at least tomorrow. No immediate storm-related deaths have been reported in Cuba. Across the Caribbean, though, the number of fatalities still at roughly two dozen. Hard-hit areas like St. Martin, St. Martin, and Barbuda still dealing with widespread devastation. But there is some good news, though. Hurricane Jose, shown here building in recent days, is sparing parts of the Caribbean, where it was feared some areas could be slammed for a second time. The U.S. National Hurricane Center saying today the storm moved well north of Puerto Rico, a relief to residents there already dealing with flooding in Irma's wake. Jose is expected to weaken in the next few days as it moves northwest. Irma, Harvey delivering some very serious blows in recent weeks. We want to mention there are almost three months left to the Atlantic hurricane season. It wraps up in November.